Hello and welcome my dear students to my channel Mathematics Made Easy. This is Ms. Rushika welcoming you to today's session. In this session of last minute of revision series, I'm answering your questions and doubts. So today's video is especially for my grade 9 elite students. Uh, this is in a link with the learning objective number 4 from end of term coverage. The learning objective is to multiply binomials by applying the pay pattern formed by the product of a sum and a difference. We are going to be covering questions 11 to 14 on page 657 of your math book. So all your questions, all your queries are answered here by me, Ms. Ruchika, in today's session. So stay glued with me, watch the video till the end. And if you like it, and if that has answered your queries, give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you receive notification of all upcoming videos. So let's dive into the video and a humble kind reminder. Uh, to watch the video till the end so that you have your all your queries and questions answered. So uh, many of my subscribers had asked for these questions. So I'm making this video especially to clear all your doubts and queries. And uh, I will just tell you a few of my subscribers. So Shamak Abdullah has asked for this question as she doesn't understand the question. Also Khadija Al Shamali also has answered uh, asked for these questions. So this video specially goes out to you two girls and for all my grade nine elite dear students. Okay, so we are going to cover these two questions first. In these questions, you are given figures. So it's an easy question because the figure is already given to you. It will not be very difficult looking at the figure to answer the question. So let's read the problem. A city planner is proposing a roundabout to improve traffic flow at a busy intersection. So there are many roundabouts in Dubai. I hope you have seen a roundabout. So as you see here, it is circular. It, it has a circle in the center and four directions so these four roads are governed by this circle and it's an intersection where these four roads are meeting the common point that's the center of the circle you have a small circle you have a big circle so two circles are there and you need to write here a polynomial equation for the area of the traffic circle if the radius of the outer circle is r so for the big circle the outer circle the radius is r and for the inner circle you need to find uh, the area of the traffic circle, the smaller one. And you're also given that the width of the road is 18 feet. So these are two important information. So if I uh, just redraw the figure here somewhere, there's a small circle. There is a big circle, right? The small circle radius is not given to you. For the big circle, radius is R. And this width of the road in between is given to be 18. So if R is the radius of the big circle, 18 is the width, then you can definitely find the area of the small circle. It's R minus 18, right? That's what you get. Now, you need to find area of the traffic circle. So what is the formula for area of circle? I want you to recall. So it is pi times r square, where pi is 22 by 7, r is your radius of the circle. Now, if you want to get the radius of the uh, of the traffic circle, the area of the traffic circle, then you have to find the area of the Traffic circle means area of this part. So you need to find the area of the big circle. You need to find the area of the small circle. And then you need to subtract so that you get this area. The area that I'm shading. So that's why when you are trying to find the area, let's say it is A1 for the big circle. So pi r square as r is the radius of the big circle maybe i'll change color to make it better for you so this is the big circle radius is r so pi r square minus a2 now i'm subtracting the area of the small circle this one so what is the radius of the small circle let me do it with green so this is r minus 8 so it was area will be pi r minus 18 square now you just open it up take common and simplify so how do you do that pi is common inside you have r square minus r minus 18 
whole square. Now you can apply your algebra to simplify. So one way you can use a square minus b square. What is that identity? Difference of squares. So it is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So we are going to do that. We are having our, our minus of 18. So this is a minus b, then a plus b. So in both cases, you will have pi 2r minus 18. R and r cancels again 18. So what do you get when you simplify? You take a two common, so 36 pi times r minus 9. So this is going to be the area of the traffic. That means this shaded area okay so that was the area of the traffic circle where you subtracted the two areas let's come to question 12 now in question 12 very similarly you are given the different shape which is cube and you need to uh, what else is given two number cubes each edge of the cube is three millimeters less than of the edge of cube b so two cubes a and b so if b has each side x then for the new cube, it is 3 less, so x minus 3. And in a cube, remember, all sides are equal, so length, breadth, height, all are equal. Now, each edge of the cube B is x millimeters. We have already seen that. And for the new one, it is x minus 3. Write an equation that models the surface area of the cube. Now, what is the formula? I want you to recall that, and then we'll do the question. So let's do it on the next slide. Okay, so let's solve question 12 now. For this question, we are going to use the formula of surface area of a cube. So the surface area of cube is 6 times S square, where S is the side of the cube, as you can see here in the formula sheet. So for cube A, we need to find the surface area so surface area of cube a now cube a as you see from the previous slide has side x minus 3 so its area surface area would be 6 times x minus 3 whole square now this is algebra a minus b whole square how much a square plus b square minus 2ab. So I can write a square as x square plus b square as 3 square minus 2 times x minus 3. So how much is going to be that? Let's simplify. So the final answer here would be x square plus 9 minus 6x. And this thing is same as writing 6 times x square minus 6x plus 9. Both are going to give you the correct answer. And the unit here for surface area would be millimeter square because each side is in millimeter. So the area will be square of that. So millimeter square. That's your answer for question 12. So let's solve this question now. A spinner has two equal sections. So you can see the spinner has two parts and both are equal. One is blue, one is red. So we denote blue with capital B and we denote R with capital uh, red with capital R. Okay, that's what is given in the question. Use the square of a sum. Square of a sum means square of sum. So sum is A plus B. Sum of two things and it's square. What is the identity? A square plus 2AB plus B square. Algebra. Or you can write in this way also. Both are correct. So this identity needs to be used to determine the possible number of combination of spinning the spinner two times. Okay. So what is the event? The event capital E is defined as spinning the spinner this spinner which has two parts blue and red how many times two times now what are the options? first time that you are spinning either red can come or blue can come 
and in the second time also the two options are there either red or blue similarly for blue also there are two options red and blue so now if you look at the outcomes what are the outcomes either both times red or both times blue or one time red one time blue and one time blue one time red so there are one two three four four total options so what are the options let's now write i'm writing them in curly brackets red red both times red blue second time blue red third time or blue blue both time so there are four options now you have to use this identity to write the possible combinations of spinning the spinner two times now considering order is not important if order is not important means if first red is coming then blue or blue is first coming then red if it is not important then both are equal so what i can write i can write this as red red and these two are same so say two times red blue and then blue blue now because we have to use this identity we are going to say using some so now that you have understood about probability you will understand the answer so if you take the square of the sum the first two option is two blue or two red or the same two blue so you can just add them all and you can write this as b plus r whole square why because this is coming from square of a sum identity a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square so this option means both times blue is coming this option means both time red is coming and this option means one time blue one time red or one time red one time blue so that's how you do it similarly try question 14 and the answer would come out to be using square of sum this value and how do you do it because you are given this expression you are given y is equal to 2n plus 11 square again it is square of sum so we can use the first identity and it will give you first term square plus second term square plus two times their product or you may just write it by opening the bracket squares and multiplying so this is 44 n and this is same as order is not important 4 n square plus 44 n plus 1 to 1 so basically the identity which we are using for both these question is same which is square of sum so just learn it and use it correctly and it will give you the correct answer for question 45 to 49 i am providing here the sample answers and the answer key for questions like 46 and questions like 48 there is no one answer there can be more than one answer so these are all subjective questions i feel that these kind of questions will not be that much coming for your ministry exam so i'm not explaining them in great detail just have put your answers here so that in case you want to go through them you just double check because as you know for your exam you only have multiple choice question coming up still if you want to just uh, go through these i have put the answer key uh, give it a read and you'll get it very easily so with that we come to the end of today's session a short session covering the doubts of my dear students from grade 9 elite and with this this is mr chika signing off from today's session wishing you all very good luck for your tomorrow's exam all the best i'm sure you all will do well until then this is mr chika signing off from today's session see you in my next video bye students